Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our tech haven, where we unravel the latest in the world of gadgets and gizmos. Today, we're discussing the ongoing US-China tech war and the recent buzz surrounding Huawei's new chip. Is it a game changer or a potential threat? Stick around as we break it down for you. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things tech. So without further delay, let's get started. Let's rewind a bit. So, what's all the fuss about? The US-China tech war has been making headlines, and Huawei, a major player in the tech arena, is at the forefront of this global clash. Recently, there's been a lot of chatter about Huawei's new chip, and the tech community is buzzing with speculation. Let's dissect the details and see if this chip is a cause for concern. Features of Huawei's new chip Huawei's recent announcement of a groundbreaking new chip has sent shockwaves through the tech world. Huawei's new chip is generating interest for several reasons. First off, it boasts cutting-edge technology that promises to elevate the performance of Huawei devices. The chip is said to be a powerhouse, capable of handling complex tasks with ease, from advanced gaming to resource-intensive applications. The company claims that this chip represents a significant leap forward in terms of performance and efficiency, positioning Huawei as a formidable player in the global semiconductor industry. However, this announcement has also raised eyebrows and prompted questions about the potential implications of this technological breakthrough. One notable feature is its advanced AI capabilities. The chip is designed to enhance AI processing, opening doors to improved user experiences such as smarter camera functionalities and more efficient voice recognition. Huawei is positioning this chip as a leap forward in the realm of technological innovation. Implications in the US-China Tech War Now, let's address the elephant in the room. How does this new chip fit into the larger narrative of the US-China Tech War? The United States has been taking measures to restrict Huawei's access to crucial technologies, citing national security concerns. This has led Huawei to develop more of its technologies in-house, including semiconductor chips. The question arises, does the advancement of Huawei's chip technology pose a threat, especially considering the tense relations between the two tech giants? Some argue that Huawei's strides in chip development could further amplify the competition and intensify the ongoing tech war. Furthermore, the global impact of this chip's introduction is a subject of intense debate, with stakeholders closely monitoring its implications for the broader tech ecosystem. Expert Opinions Amidst the hype surrounding Huawei's new chip, experts have offered varying perspectives on its significance. Some industry insiders and analysts view this development as a major threat to the dominance of US-based chip manufacturers. They believe that Huawei's technological prowess could disrupt the existing balance of power in the semiconductor market, potentially reshaping the dynamics of the US-China tech war. On the other hand, there are experts who downplay Huawei's breakthrough and doubt that the company can produce the advanced chips on a large scale. Ray Yang a consulting director of Taiwan's Industrial Technology Research Institute ITRI, told DW that technology needs to be scalable for production instead of staying in the research and development phase. Experts also point out that the development of Huawei's chip signifies a shift in the global tech landscape, with China striving for self-sufficiency in semiconductor production. This move could have significant ramifications not only for the US-China tech war but also for the global tech industry as a whole. Banning Exports of Cold War Solution Last week, US Commerce Secretary Raimondo also said no evidence showed that Huawei was capable of producing smartphones with advanced chips at scale, adding that Washington has continued to investigate the manufacturing process. And while anti-China hawks are calling for more sanctions, some experts claim it would be impossible to pass watertight measures to exclude China from the strongly intertwined global supply chain. Trying to block the chips is a very Cold War solution, said size director Lewis. His suggestion is for the US government to allow chips to go to China but not the equipment for manufacturing those chips. This way, 
as Lewis indicated, would be a win-win situation where the U.S. firms can keep their market share in China while the Chinese brands, such as Oppo and Xiaomi, would still resort to Western chips that have a lower price and higher quality. Without them, Beijing would have a tremendous incentive to build its own semiconductor capabilities. Less blocking, more research. Moreover, Beijing has already responded to sanctions by limiting exports of key metals for manufacturing semiconductors. And last month, China announced a new $40 billion fund for domestic chipmakers to reduce reliance on foreign technology. Eurasia Group's Liu believe the U.S. has been focusing too much on blocking competition and not enough on shoring up their own capacities. When you are keeping your competitors three generations behind, she said, you are also keeping your own company one or two generations behind. As we witness these technological power struggles unfold, it becomes crucial to examine how they might shape the future of innovation, trade, and international relations. While Huawei's new chip is undoubtedly a milestone in technological progress, it also adds a layer of complexity to the already intricate web of the US-China tech war. As tech enthusiasts, it's fascinating to observe these developments and contemplate the potential impacts on the devices we use daily. What are your thoughts on Huawei's new chip and its implications in the US-China tech war? Share your opinions in the comments below. And, of course, if you enjoyed today's topic, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your tech-savvy friends, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world of technology. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.